Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising your Venus placements in Sagittarius or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading, re this reading might resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. All right. What's going on with my Sag Collective? I'm already getting tongue-tied doing this reading, so that's interesting. <laughs> that's quite interesting. So... Somebody having a hard time getting spitting something out or telling you something here. Somebody has like, some communication issues. We have four of wands. King of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, energy. See, I'm still having a hard time talking. We have five of pentacles. King of pentacles. We have the seven of cups here. All right, so we have two kings here. Seven of cups judgment somebody's having a wake-up call maybe about their feelings the high priestess ah because if somebody feels like you're leaving them behind the queen of oh, oh so you guys are about to meet your match or you guys have met your match there's this other person having a wake-up call about you goodness somebody is like wondering if you're in a committed relationship or not somebody feels it i'm telling you guys somebody feels you leaving them behind so there could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with in the past that was a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. If it's not that, this is just somebody that is like having a wake-up call and they're realizing how much they care about you, how much they love you. Now that they're feeling you leaving, you leave, now that they're feeling you leave them behind. I do feel like you guys are leaving this person behind. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. You guys have some type of like, yeah, this is a relationship you guys have in. Like this is a husband and a wife or like, you know, two wives, two husbands, whatever, you know, whatever your situation is. But yeah, this is a good match here. You, this is a relationship. And this person feels like a relationship with you, with another relationship deepening, or they know that you have like a, you're in another relationship that's getting pretty deep or getting pretty serious. They feel that we have death on the back of the deck, Scorpio energy, six of wands. Ooh, this person's having an ego death. Oh, this person's having an ego death because this person thought that, they're feeling this relationship dying they're feeling the spark die they know that you're not feeling that feeling them like you used to you're not speaking to them you definitely have cut them off or set some type of boundaries or guards with them you've kept them blocked yeah and it's like making this person look at the situation differently it's keeping them up at night yeah now they want to work on this now they want to yeah this person was being a player they were juggling you not making an emotional investment they're being selfish Mm -mm. that's why you guys decided to go in a different direction away from this person let them go mm -mm. interesting this is such a clear-cut reading is this what i want to use okay mm, don't want to use this Hold on, we're going to use, use a different deck before we get into that deck. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you guys are done with somebody leaving something behind and you guys don't care anymore dismissing over it you're over you're over a person now who did i just do a reading for leo some of you guys can be doing with a leo or have leo significant leo placements yeah you didn't block yeah i feel like you guys have blocked this person completely disconnected from them this is somebody that you were pretty close to okay goals but it's like you guys just don't feel like you and this person are in alignment or you guys don't want the same things yeah you guys don't vibe anymore anymore your point yeah your perspective has changed your point of view has changed this person was too focused on other people 
or, an, or somebody else. Not too, not enough focused on you. What is shipping? What's up with no chill? I feel like you guys are really rooting for this at some point. You really wanted this, this to come together before you and this person, but they were just like, they had no regard for your feelings. You feel like you were doing too much when they weren't, they, did, they didn't want this the same way you wanted it. So now I feel like you guys, you just don't feel like you're there a match. And now you guys put yourself out there to, you started mingling again, meeting new people. And I feel like this person is super shocked by this. Yeah, they are shocked. And what's this mean for uh, Sag? You guys are like just breaking away from something that was kind of long standing in your life here. Some of you guys just chose to be single, just be single for a while, heal. What about put on blast? Clap back. Uh-oh. You 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 told this person about themselves. You told them that you were not gonna be a doormat. You weren't gonna let them continue to breadcrumb you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Relationship struggles are ended. Missing someone emotional, lonely, depressed, sad. But I feel like you guys don't care no more. Yeah, this person thought they had a stronger influence over over you than they do than they do. What's going on? Yeah, this person thought that they could maybe put you on hold, or they thought the grass was greener on the other side. How, how are they feeling now? Can't even. Yeah. Now they don't know what to do. Yeah, they're in their feelings. Now they know why you felt the way that you did. Like now they're more now they're more able to relate to you. For whatever reason, now they feel like they want to take charge of this situation. But yeah, ghosted. Now that you've literally like now they know that you're done with them. Now they want to try to take charge and now they want to offer you what they should have before. But it's how it always happens. They feel like they don't have any closure. They're having a hard time moving on from you. Some of you guys are in the public eye. They watch you. If you have a public public platform, they they're able to see you. But yeah, they viable. They're getting like this feeling that you're moving on or that you're in a more serious relationship because of what they're seeing you post. Yeah, they're watching you on social media. They're going to try to weasel their way back in here or do something to try to get your attention on social media or something like that. Tell me more about this person they're dealing with, Spirit. Tell me more about this person they're dealing with. We have the, oh, it was a situationship. They have no idea what they want. Difficult to find a healthy relationship, confused and still stuck in a situationship. Yeah. Yeah, this is something we have the ex. Oh, so you were dealing with somebody that was still stuck on their ex. They keep their ex in their life, still has a soft spot for an ex, the one that got away. Yeah, we have the extrovert, has a lot of friends and interests, it's easy to get to know them, enjoys being the center of attention, they love attention. We have the avoider, yeah, guarded and hard to trust anyone, result of fear rather than indifference, spoils relationship to prove it isn't real. So this person sabotaged this. We have the free spirited, they like to be free, they don't like to, they don't like to, it says they want someone who will not bind them down. They didn't want a commitment. Why is the bride here for this person? This person knew that you were a catch though. And they knew that you were a pushover. You you were too kind to this person. They And they kind of mistook your, you know, they took your kindness for weakness or they thought you were weak because of how kind and giving you were. You really rooted for this relationship. They didn't, they didn't root it for it in the same way. It says gives their partner all the power. Has a hard time standing up for themselves. They're easy to overcome or influence. But I feel like you guys are taking back your power now. Yeah, we have the perfectionists. Yeah, they like, they're an idealist. Or you guys are like, you guys had a vision for what kind of relationship you wanted. You just don't feel like what this person was offering you or giving you was not it. Or they weren't capable of giving you what it was that you wanted. Yeah, they still have a lot of lessons to learn. Their soul wants to learn and evolve. Love has taught them a lot of lessons or is still teaching them lessons. We have the sex worker. It says ignores their values for approval. Always expect something in return. A transactional, in transactional relationships. Oh, Lord. We have the bully. They try to command and dominate an overly inflated sense of their own ego. So a little bit narcissistic or maybe a lot of narcissistic. They make you feel you're not good enough. Yeah, I feel like it was heavy on that. Um, and we have the gateway lover, perfect, but something is missing, prepares you for your true love. Yes. So this relationship that you've been dealing with has been preparing you for this king and queen of pentacles relationship. It says helps you heal and open your heart. 
Yeah, we have the Thief of Hearts. So this, you're not the first or the last person that they've done this to. It says they're the ultimate heartbreaker. Plays on their partner's emotions. Can steal your heart with little effort. All right. We're at 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm trying to see what else do they need to know about this going forward? Let's see more about what's going on with this person. And mm. tell me more about the current situation, Spirit. We have cat, what does it say? Cursed, oh, yeah, karmic cycle. Somebody is also maybe getting karma for something that they did to you. We have sacrifice. This person was unwilling to give up something or they had to make a very difficult decision to be able to be with you. And I feel like this person just wasn't ready to make that decision or they just felt like they weren't able to. This person doesn't feel like they can get away from you. Like everything reminds you of them. Like they see you everywhere they look says your love haunts them telepathic experiences can't escape the connection they don't feel like they can get away from these feelings that they have for you it says plastic yeah this person's used to surface level relationships or yeah this wasn't a real love connection i feel like this person maybe doesn't even realize that either but it's like you maybe thought you and this person were in love at some point but it wasn't this was like a karmic relationship Tell me more. We have dating. Yeah, you guys are ready to start dating, or I feel like you guys already have. Either this is coming in, this king and queen, queen king and queen of pentacles relationship is coming in for you, or it already it's it's gonna be coming in very soon. But it's like spirit says it's getting over someone. You're getting over this past person. You don't want them anymore because they uh, they they made you feel unvalued, taken for granted, unequal give and take, not feeling appreciated. We have finality. This is a done deal for you, at least. It says permanent ending, no more chances. Goodbye to the old. We have friendship. Maybe this person can maybe be friends. You might friends on them. I feel like you're building a foundation with somebody else. I'm telling you, I feel like that's what's happening here. Like you're, you know, maybe taking things slow. But it says, yeah, this person caused you a lot of suffering and heartbreak. I feel like they're in this energy of being heartbroken, unable to move on from you. So they're wanting, planning to come in and love bomb you. Use emotional manipulation. They're used to being able to charm people and get what they want. They, they crave your attention. Yeah. Now this person's very focused on you. Now they've chosen you. Now they've got rid of the third party interference. And now they want to, now they see a future with you and they want to take things to the next level. But yeah, they took this too slow. They, they, they tried to progress this too slow. And now you have found a new love interest or you're, you've let them go now. You feel like there's someone better for you. And now they feel stupid. They feel like they made dumb choices. They feel like they were careless. Um, they wish they would have taken this more seriously. They wish they would have not played um, uh, games. Um, this person's like in this energy where they like, they, they're they feeling like they, they didn't mean to hurt you or they didn't want to hurt you. I feel like you guys are going to be very protective of this new connection that you guys have co got coming in. So you're not going to let this come, person come in and sabotage this. Um they're not happy in their situation whatever it is um they feel very stuck or they feel they're not happy they're in an unpleasant situation Ooh, but yeah some of you guys are m manifesting relationship by using spell work candle magic attracting you could just be like the law of attraction like you guys are manifesting a a love interest or it's already here you're you're manifesting a deepening of a relationship yeah on the verge, on the verge of what? This person's on the verge of, I feel like, saying something to you. The memories, yeah, they're feeling nostalgic. They don't feel like they can let this go. So what are they going to do? Proof? They want answers from you. They want to know if you've moved on from them. They want to know if they want some type of validation from you or something. Wow, pregnancy? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? Sex? Guys, be careful because some of you guys might be getting pregnant. This person's going to want to know if you're, they're going to come in and like, they may hear that you're pregnant 
and they're gonna want to come in and be like are you really pregnant well yeah didn't you see i was pregnant no <laughs> yeah it says getting pregnant building a family or you guys are just building a family with somebody else i'm telling you be careful <laughs> You guys have somebody here that you have mutual feelings with, equal give and take, compromise in this relationship. And you guys are going to end up, either you guys are giving birth to a new like beginning on like a new relationship, birthing something new with somebody else, or you guys have a baby here because we have pregnancy and sex. So yeah, you guys, some of you guys are about to end up having a child <laughs> with somebody else. And what's this have to do with this past person? What's pregnancy and sex have to do with this past person? Home? Work? cut through they're they're moving and they're trying to or they're trying to they're having a change in location or a change in their living situation so they're working a lot and they're having some type of breakthrough about they're hearing gossip about you that you're maybe pregnant cut out and they know that you're really done with them when they hear this whatever they hear they're like damn like she, it's, it's done it's over with now they're seeing you look very beautiful too What's up to a Sag? Passion. Twin flame. This could have been your twin flame. What about it though? Love and growth. It was helped to, it triggered growth in you. Angry. Why are they mad? They're angry. Single because they're single and they're alone now. They don't have anybody. Now they're open to dating you and wanting to have something serious with you. What's passion here for my Sag collective? Boundaries. Oh, this person may try to... Yeah, you guys, this person may be trying to come in. They're craving you. They're craving your energy. They may want to have sex with you, but you have boundaries in place when it comes to this person now. You know that this person has some type of love, has some type of third party or they did interference. And I feel like you guys don't want any, they're going to try to win, really win you over, but like they, yeah. Tell me one more card about what this situation means for this past person. Love offer, I'm telling you. Yeah, but dry spell you, yeah you guys are not no action in love you're not taking action towards this apology or they're they're coming towards you because they've had not had sex in a long time yeah they're hoping to be able to do that with you we have freedom uh, you guys are not going to commit to this person what about mutual feelings love activation going in circles you, you know that like you and the yeah Secretly stalking, yeah, they're secretly watching you. What's mutual strategy? Planning their next move, being clear with nothing, leaving nothing to chance. Okay, what is that? Hot and cold. Broken promises. Jealousy. You were their, this person's first true love and they're realizing it after the fact. This person's going to be jealous. Like they're thinking about all of the shit that they did. The hot and cold energy. The broken promises. They're strategizing. Now they feel the way that you did feel about them. But you have something new. I feel like this new relationship, not that you and this person will be like, the, the, anybody will be keeping each other a secret but i feel like you and this person will be more like more private like you'll like you'll know people will know that you're in a relationship but you guys won't be like constantly like all over social media posting your business like so that's why this person will feel like it, it's very vague like what you've got going on if that makes some sense if that makes any sense but yeah yeah i see <laughs> but um i'm gonna take this over to the extended reading i want to take a look to see what the future holds for this um like, I want to take a look at this new relationship that you've got coming in, um, get timing on that, get you guys some advice about your current situation, um, whatever else I feel drawn to do in the extended reading, the link will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, or like, or like, and or what am I trying to say? Goodness. See, I'm having a really hard time talking in this reading. This person doesn't even know what to say to you. Um, don't forget to like, and or follow me on Instagram, um, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this. And like I said, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. Um, also, if you're interested in getting all the extended readings that I do for one flat rate, um, there is a link in the description box to join my channel or you can click the join button below. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.